It's seven o'clock at night and Crouches have brought us another project. This will be the last video I'll do of this year. I was going to do a compilation of all the videos I've done this year, but every other YouTuber's done that, so I thought I'll just do a video of what we're actually doing. So this is a 432 that's been stood for many, many years in a field. The chap was 91 years old that owned this, and uh, it was time to move it on. A friend of mine's bought it, and we're going to do it up. Uh, probably one of the first little mini projects of next year, so... It's got a lot number on the front, clearly from Witham's XMOD with the looks of things. But although it's scabby, it's all there, all complete. The tracks are good. The road wheels are pretty good. It's very dirty and green. But I'm pretty pleased with this, and it's reasonable inside. I'll just show you inside it now. Got all the seats. I've been took off for some strange reason, but that's a good thing. We can tidy it up. But yeah, we'll uh, try and get the engine going and see what it's like. But today's first job is to move the T-72 out the workshop and put the Centurion ARV in the workshop. The reason we're using the Foden to move the T-72 is because the main engine oil priming pump is stuck and not working. All it does is dim the lights. What we were told was the button above it was the oil priming pump. That's actually the gearbox oil priming pump not the main engine you only need that when you're towing it the electric starter motor also doesn't work and neither does the air compressor so starting this is really hard and dangerous for the engine because it can't be primed hence why we're now towing it with the Fodum. i don't want to take it to bits now because i've got too many other projects going on at the moment so we're putting it in the little workshop for now i also want to thank everyone that reached out to try and help us uh, convert the language and everything there's a bit of a language barrier with this vehicle and also big thanks to colin who's sent us this video this 3d model you can see where the engine oil primer pump is there at the bottom of the engine under the fan which is really handy so we think we're probably going to have to take the gearboxes out and the fan housing and the radiator to get at that and to get at the electric starter that's also knackered so thoroughly not looking forward to doing that job so we're gonna leave that for now weather today went from terrible to shit. What babe? Fifteen minutes of standing around in the pissing damn rain while Adam faffs about trying to shunt it. And we're still not in. The Foden's really struggling to grip. The water, the sludge, the slurry all over the concrete isn't helping matters. Some of you might remember this Centurion ARV. The first time we tried to start it resulted in quite a lot of fire. And the reason we are putting it in the workshop today is because I've sold it to a good friend of Mr. Best. I've promised the buyer that the vehicle is brilliant in every single way, apart from the fact that the gear rods have rotted out and the fuel tank leaks and it doesn't start. So we're going to simply put it into the workshop and mend these minor details. He wants the arse end that way, I think. What Adam needed right now was clear and precise instructions. 
we got Haggis at the rear of the ARV that didn't know his left and his right. He was also stood behind it where Adam couldn't see him. This was very helpful. So that's it, slight problem. What a bugger. We're gonna bend the stop so the roller shut the door out of the way. And <laughs> try and wind it up a little bit more. And it might just go in. It's not much drier in here. <laughs> Walking like a home. Things were going well. I'm going to shunt backwards. That's straight enough. How much further back? That was a mission. Huh? Yeah, I'm absolute. Don't worry, Tay's got the, the heater on. Yeah. Well. Right, let's scrape the shit out. Get the door down. The A bar can stay on there. Yeah, I'm going home. Huh? I'm going home. Fire yeah, you get the fire lit, you scrape the shit. I better put those tech screws back in there. Yeah. I'll probably back up and use this bumper. Oh, I got it in. Minimal damage to the shed. Hello. Hello. Sorry we didn't do any more filming of the vehicle today. We all got soaking wet and the cameras weren't working very well. So we'll be putting some more videos of that 432 up very, very soon. But that's it for us for this year. Thanks for everyone that was watching and that likes and follows what we're doing. And for the people that give us really bad comments and you can all just go and
and Happy New Year to everyone else. No, I don't know if that's going to be any good. Well, let me have a look. Okay. Oh, I like paint pots and I cannot lie You are the brothers I can't deny it. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty weight Stand around in, in your face You get sprung You get sprung Oh, well, you get sprung uh, Deep in the jeans she's wearing I looked and I can't stop staring Baby got back Ooh, My anaconda uh, don't want none Unless you got the buzz hot I'm begging for a piece of that bubble So go and find that jersey double And you get sprung Oh, and you get sprung I don't want no other but Now baby, it's just years out I'm thinking of 